When it comes to corgi puppies, every little thing is exciting. Every leaf that comes flying by catches their attention. Every sound that they hear is novel, prompting them to react. When the door swings open, they dart out as if there is a whole world to explore. Because there is. How do we address these issues? How do we teach our corgi puppies on having some level of impulse control? In this video, I hope to help address some of these issues with a few concepts and exercises. So let's get started. In our last video, we discussed the importance of eye contact with your dog. If you missed it, be sure to check it out in the pinned comment below. Now that you've gotten your dog to look at you, we can begin branching out into different commands and proofing them with the three Ds, duration, distance, and distraction. Going back to the look at me command, try to hold eye contact for perhaps two seconds before marking and rewarding. You can slowly increase the duration. Work your way up to five, 10, 30 seconds. Be sure to set up your pet for success by not increasing the duration too long too quickly. Now take a step back while holding eye contact. You are essentially teaching them a stay command as you move away from your dog. Go ahead and add the verbal cue stay and take a step back. Use a release word such as free or release or whatever you like and then work your way up in duration and distance. Now inside our home, there is the least amount of distraction available. Go ahead and add distraction by squeaking a dog toy to see if they break their stay. Another way to introduce distractions is to introduce the exercise in a different environment. This is a good time to grab the lead so that you can keep full control of your pup just in case they get overly distracted by a squirrel or a bird. Note that your dog should naturally be coming to you directly for the treat. So once you have enough distance, you're effectively introducing the come when called command. Therefore, through this exercise, you are teaching them to look at you, stay, and then come. They are three essential commands to develop impulse control. Now that you understand the concept of the three Ds, this is essentially the foundation of every discipline that you are training your dog in. You can take this exercise to the next level by taking it to the park where there are more distractions. Try to increase the distance, but remember, set your dog up for success by observing what they are capable of. Next on the list, let's try the leave it command. Place a piece of food in front of your dog and have them look at you rather than the tree. They have a huge distraction right in front of them, so go back to the basics in terms of duration. Once successful, you can add distance and duration. Here in this example, we also add a distraction with a piece of kibble in between me and Gandalf before calling him over. This is a combination of stay, look at me, leave it, and come. What's hilarious is that to avoid temptation, Gandalf will walk the path as far away from the distraction as possible. What a good pup. Good boy. Here's an extreme example of distraction where we have a whole plate of boiled chicken. We add a little bit of duration, but kept a distance to a minimum. I think he did pretty well here, even as a puppy. Another variation of this exercise is working on impulse control in every context by placing your dog in a stay and releasing them. Here are some examples. This is all part of the same series of commands we just went over. Eye contact, stay, release, come. By learning these concepts, we hope you can add a little bit of variety and creativity to your training. Just a few minutes a day in different contexts will go a long way. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to give it a like. Doing so will help spread the video to others. Comment below if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.